everyone. I'm Nicole Steele of the Joyful Stamper. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I realized that a lot of people are new to stamping. It's something they're curious about, but they don't know where to start. And when you see the annual catalog from Stampin' Up! or even one of the mini catalogs, it can be a little overwhelming and wondering, where in the world do I start? Where in the world do I begin? So, what I have decided to do is make a series of videos designed specifically for people that are new to stamping and maybe you have unanswered questions. So, this first video that I'm making is about how to put the labels on a Stampin' Up! stamp set. Now, Stampin' Up! stamp sets come in what's either known as red rubber or clear photopolymer. And the clear photopolymer is not an issue whatsoever. Um, this would be an example of clear photopolymer. You can see that the stamps are clear. You can see through them so that when you put them on your block, you can see exactly where you are stamping on your paper. This is nice when you're layering colors, layering images, doing what's known as two-step stamping. They don't require any stickers to be applied to them. You can pull them right off of the sheet in the case, stick them on your block, and you're ready to go. However, when you purchase red rubber stamps from Stampin' Up!, you need to apply the labels to them. Well, you don't have to, but a lot of people like to do that because it makes them feel like they uh, have greater control over where they're stamping. So I have a brand new stamp set here, the Gangs All Mirror. This video is being recorded January, I don't know, it was 28th, 2020. We're in the middle of celebration, so this is a celebration set. So when you first open your stamp case, you will notice that it comes with a sticker label sheet and your red rubber, and it's in. you, you want to punch it out, first of all, of the sheet that it comes in. And it's perforated, so it should they should come out pretty easily. Once you've punched them all out, you can discard this if you want to. There's no use for it, so we're gonna lay, we're gonna just put that in the trash can. So you have your images here. Now, on the back of the images is a liner paper, and when you peel it off, it reveals what's known as a cling mount foam underneath. This is designed to stick to your stamping block. You put it on there and it sticks. It's not gonna come off. You can peel it back off, put it in your case, peel it back off again, and just keep reusing it as many times as you want. Some people just leave it like that. Others, however, would like the image to be on the back of this because it makes them feel like they have more control over where they're stamping. That's where this sticker label sheet comes in. So, I have peeled the backing off of this particular stamp here. And what I'm going to do is peel the backing off this. Now, if you flip this over, you'll notice these are split in half so that they're easy to peel off. You see that? Each one of these images has that where they're split into the liner is split into two. So, I'm going to peel the liner off just the stamp that I'm working with, which is this giant meerkat one. And I'm going to lay the sticker sheet down. I'm going to take my stamp and flip it over so that the red rubber with the image on it is facing up, facing towards me. And the foam, the cling foam, is facing down towards the sticker label. And I am going to carefully put this stamp right on to that label. Now, this label is super, super sticky. So, once you have that on there, you cannot peel the label off to readjust it because you will tear the foam that is on that stamp. But that's why I suggest doing one at a time because you have that outline to follow on the sticker sheet. Once you've stuck your stamp onto that label, peel it off, and there it is. So now you have the printed stamp image on your stamp. You can put it right on your block. This block's a little bit small for this one, but you get the idea. Stick it on there, and it's not going anywhere. 
It's not going to fall off at all. It's on there. When you're done stamping, just gently take your finger, pull up a corner of it, and gently peel it off. And I recommend saving this sheet here and keeping it in your stamp case, and you can put your stamps right back on it. That way you won't have any trouble peeling them off the stamp case itself because they're, um, they're on there pretty good. So, all right, I will do one more to show you. And I will do this little cactus guy here. So I'm peeling the liner off the label and I'm gonna take the stamp and peel the liner off of that stamp exposing the foam. And you can see that there's a out natural outline here. I'm going to place my stamp over top of that image following that outline. Press it down and then peel it off of the paper. And that transfers right to the stamp. Okay? And you can stick these right back in your case or you can put them right back in like that. I personally like to keep them on this sheet because I find that if you if you don't use the set for you know a few weeks it can really stick to the DVD case so I like to keep the original um, like waxed coating label sheet in here so I hope that helped you with how to get your red rubber stampin up stamp set ready to stamp how to apply the labels and get you started stamping if you need any more help with getting started with stamping, feel free to contact me, Nicole Steele. You can go to my site at thejoyfulstamper.com and I have a contact me link there. Or you can email me at Nicole at thejoyfulstamper.com and I would be so happy to get you started on stamping. It is such a fun hobby. hobby. I find so much meaning and purpose in it and I would love to share that with you. All right. Thanks, friends, and have a blessed day. Bye.